so I've decided that I want to be cremated in Varanasi and have half of my ashes thrown into the Ganga Ji and the other half brought back and scattered all over Burglar for good money. Listen, if I'm going to have my ashes brought back from Varanasi, half of them, and scattered here, it's pretty clear what Burgdorf means to me. Okay. But in all seriousness, I don't know, you know, it just doesn't, it just doesn't get bigger or better than Burgdorf did um, If I were to think of five, five representative things to New York City to me, one of them would definitely be Burgdorf Goodman. RuPaul and where Mr. Jim Gold you know, like, really loved the line and wanted to buy it, and I kept trying to contact the then fashion director of Marty's, Julie Gilhart, Julie, uh, who was in Europe. I called her several times and emailed and never got never got a return call. So I just agreed and went ahead to sell to Burglar. Well, when Julie Gilhart got back and found out I had done this, she dropped us. Which, you know, we were a little crestfallen. But I gotta say, our, our sales quadruple at Burglar, coming from, um, coming from Barbies. Dogs up for adoption, okay, so it'd be a pet adoption, and and we would really work aggressively to get these dogs adopted, and maybe some um, decorative elements from Madeline Castings estate, and um, and Billy Baldwin, and. Uh, a few pieces from the Saint Laurent estate, probably, and, um, oh, I bought a screen from Jeffrey Bean's estate, a 19th century Zuber wallpaper screen that we did include. Um, lots of Colfax and Fowler floral chintz fabric, and Empire furniture, or early Regence, English Regence.